the reason y'all are probably all tuned into this video today is the lost and found one. YouTube was good. It's your boy Wavy G. I'm back in the flesh. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, man. Whatever it is y'all celebrate, I hope y'all had a happy one. Cause I know that I did. I enjoyed some quality time with my girl. I spent some time with her family. Didn't get to see my family, unfortunately, cause I live away from them in a different state. But shout out to them, man. They still took care of me. I still took care of them. Much love to all y'all, my brothers, everybody, man. My parents, everything. But I'm here today because I want to show some of my recent pickups for y'all, man. Some of the stuff that I've been copping as of lately. Um, you know, some of these are actually Christmas presents too. Some things that I kind of mentioned in my uh, fall, winter pickup or essentials video, I mean. I hope y'all tuned in too. If you haven't, go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna leave it right here. And do not come for me in the comments for wearing a Pistons shirt. This is my team. Detroit is my hometown. It's where I'm from, so I'm always gonna support no matter how we doing. It's not good right now, but still. I'm gonna show love, you know, that's my talent, like I said, so don't come for me in the comments. But yeah, man, so I got a couple things that I've uh, been looking forward to wearing. I wanna change my style a little bit. You know, I still like the streetwear stuff, the aesthetic of it all, but I just kinda wanted to elevate it a little bit, you know, for when I'm traveling or just going places with my girl. You know, I don't always wanna wear like the cargoes and whatnot. I kinda just wanna look a little bit more elegant, you know, spiffy, but I still am gonna stay true to the street style wear. So, um, like I said, I got some pickups for y'all there. Actually, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the Lost and Founds, man. I've been holding off on it. I actually got them a few weeks ago. I missed out on the raffles and, you know, everything like that. I took an L on sneakers like everybody did, of course. Not everybody. I'm not going to say everybody. But, like, most people did, of course. Took an L on sneakers and Foot Locker and everywhere else you can think of. I sat on it for a while and I saw the prices rising. So, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get it before they get too high. So, I'm actually going to give a review for, for those and my thoughts about them on there so you know i'm not gonna speak too much about it man let's hop into the video y'all so first things first like i mentioned in my um essentials video for fall and winter you gotta have some plaid shirts knowing i was gonna cop the lost and founds i went ahead and copped me a red plaid shirt i actually don't think i have any in my closet so that's the reason i went with this on top of me getting the lost and found so i definitely had to get this I actually picked this up from abercrombie you know they got some high quality stuff this is a great place to go ahead and cop uh essentials if you want oversized tees um plaid shirts jackets pants a whole bunch of stuff i'm sure y'all know already man abercrombie is the place to be they always got good quality stuff it never fails when i go and get stuff from them it's a little bit more it's a little bit smaller than what I normally wear, but I still thought it was a cozy fit. I actually picked it up on sale too, cause they were having a clearance uh, deal, Christmas sale, whatever it was. I think I only pay like 20 bucks for it or something like that, real cheap. It should last me all the way through spring if the weather stays as cold as it is right now, cause it's very brick outside. Like I know it's been cold, so I might just throw this on and layer it. And then, you know, in the coming months, I'll just be able to wear this with like a, uh, you know, a regular white tee under, something basic, keep it simple. But yeah, so you get a lot of use out of your plaid shirt. So go ahead and pick some up if you haven't already. Now, so for my next piece, this is actually something I just picked up from Uniqlo. They had a Uniqlo in Disney Springs in Orlando. So I went ahead and uh, I had to cop something because I've never been to a Uniqlo before. So I wasn't leaving empty handed. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> so um, it's just an oversized tee. You know, something simple, you know, a good quality. I wish y'all could feel it right here because uh, even my girl touched it when I was picking it up and she was like, yeah, you gotta get that. So part of what I was talking about before, how I just want to elevate my office, do more basic essential pieces, you know, with, uh, you know, some nicer pants, not always the streetwear outfit, just so I can look a little bit more elegant for certain some things. So uh, I went ahead and picked that up. Nice fit, man. And for my next piece again, coming in from Uniqlo as well. I actually just got some chinos. I'm not really a fan of the skinnier jeans. Uh, I mean, my jeans are still kind of skinny, but more slim straight. When I tried them on in store, I had an uh, idea of like kind of rolling up the pants, like cuffing them, just kind of get like a high water look. I actually had the inspiration from LeBron from a recent post I seen on Complex. Uh, it was a dope outfit and that's also <laughs> part of the reason why I want to elevate my outfits a little bit more is just try something different in, in 2023 just to kind of switch it up a little bit. You know, I like them. It's more of an olive. I don't know if you can tell through the camera. It's not like a gray. Um, you know, I just wanted to get a different color than what I normally have in my pants and like jeans and stuff like that. They always got some sales going on online too. Go ahead and peep some of those. I promise you will not be disappointed. 
Now, uh, these are also from Uniqlo. These are um, a pair of, what are these called? I forgot. Some smart pants. I also mentioned these. Now, these are actually high waters, like what I wanted in my, in my chinos. But um, when I found these, it was actually after I picked up the chinos and I tried these on and bro, when I tell you I've never found a pair of pants that fit so comfortable like the way these do. I got breathing room and even if I get a little bit bigger, like I'm sure I am during the holidays, but it's got a lot of extra room in there. Uh, not even big either. I don't even think I need to wear a belt with these because when I tried them on in the store, they were just like perfect, like a perfect fit. It's not like jeans to where you're wearing them in like you know, you go outside and it might be a little bit muggy, so you feel sweaty, man. You gotta raise your leg a little bit, you know, get a little uncomfortable. They're very versatile. You can wear them with a lot. And I've seen a lot of other uh, influencers, you know, wear them. They dress them down and dress them up. So you just gotta, gotta, <laughs> you just got a lot of different choices when you're wearing them. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. Again, from Uniqlo, go ahead and check them out. Now, this is actually one of my Christmas gifts. It was from a Mama Dukes. So shout out to her, man. I think she got it from Amazon. You know, they got a lot of stuff on there that I've been peeping lately. I haven't copped nothing myself, but I really like this letter, man. It feel comfortable too. It's cozy. I can layer it with like a hoodie or something under it. And then it's got the puzzle right there. And I actually fell in love with that just because it's gonna match perfect with my mochas back here. So it's gonna go hard and a fit. So you will be seeing that on my Instagram. By the way, go ahead and follow me if you don't already. But yeah, man, it's a good jacket. I uh, got a 23 patch on the side. I really like it. So yeah, this is a real good pickup uh, from my mom's for Christmas. So I definitely appreciate it. But yeah, it's, it's perfect. And I forgot to tell y'all, man, I even copped some essentials, the Fear of God uh, collection um, from the recent drop. They had some good stuff on there. So I went ahead and picked some stuff up for myself and my girl. So let me show y'all that real quick. I just went ahead and got a simple crew neck. Now, um, they did have some other colorways, like it was a darker gray, um, and they also had this in hoodies and stuff too, and some sweatpants. I went ahead and copped some sweats, uh, sweatpants for myself, and a sweatshirt, and I got my girl a hoodie because she's been wanting one too. I actually like this because it's not really a straight up gray, it also has like an off-white um, mixed in with the color tone kind of. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but when you get it in person, um, you can actually tell it's like a hint of a like cream almost in there. So I think that's pretty dope. Of course, you know it's Fear of God, so it, it's good quality, very soft, uh, good material. I'm satisfied with their clothing, so this is pretty good. And uh, these are the sweatpants right here with a little uh, label across the crotch, uh, Fear of God Essentials right there, very simple. These aren't the jogger type. These are just the regular uh, open bottom because I kind of like, you know, flare sweats, loose sweats, whatever you want to call it. I just like to be more comfortable. I do actually want some of the, the jogger type ones with the elastic on the bottom too as well, but probably in a different colorway somewhere down the line. I've been spending too much money on stuff, so. <laughs> but uh, I, I like these in real good quality. So yeah, y'all should check them out if they still got anything in stock. But yeah, this was a, a good cop for the year as well. So. I copped two things from Culture Kings back when I went to Vegas and I'm just now getting to show that. So actually this is one of my favorite hats right now. Actually I've been wearing it like crazy. I think this is part of the broccoli and beef line that they have. It's a dope new era snapback uh, with the Seattle Mariners logo on the side and on the front. So I thought that was pretty dope. So I went ahead and copped that. And also I went ahead and copped uh, just an oversized tee from Culture Kings as well. The GOAT Crew uh, line with some Midoriya My Hero Academia. You already know that show is fire, even though Midoriya has been acting like a little, little crybaby lately. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty dope. So I went and picked that up to go with my pine greens. I just got a UA on the back. I actually wore these together, even though the greens don't match 100%. I still matched, I pulled it off. So y'all check out Culture Kings. They got some dope stuff and dope hats. A lot of choices. If you're looking for some new fitteds or snapbacks, go ahead and look them up. Now this is also a gift that I got for Christmas uh, from my girl, so shout out to her for that. This is something I've been wanting for a while, but I just never went out and bought any. You can never go wrong with a pair of chucks, man. High tops, low tops, whatever. Uh, you can get a lot of use out of these. Again, with the high waters that I showed y'all, that's actually the outfit that I'm planning right now. It's always good to have some essentials, switch it up a little bit, and it's good here um, with these because just like a basic black and white shoe is not many logos besides this, but it's on the inner ankle, so no one really sees it that well. And for some reason, these are extra comfortable, more comfortable than any pair of trucks I've ever had. I think uh, since Nike taking over Converse, they probably updated the fabric and the material that they use. So it's like when I put these on, they don't feel uncomfortable. The cushion's even better too. So yeah, man, these, you can't go wrong with these. I suggest y'all look into them or go ahead and cop yourself a pair if you don't already have some. And last but not least, the reason y'all are probably all tuned into this video today 
is the lost and found ones. This was kind of like a Christmas gift to myself. So I'm really happy I did it, man. Like I said, I got it a few weeks ago. And I haven't got a chance to wear them yet. You know how it is when you get new shoes, you don't really want to step out in them. I haven't found the reason to wear these just yet, but I will soon. But I think they killed it when it came to this drop. You know, Nike knew what they were doing. Even though it was an OG colorway, it was a good way to re-release it without just dropping the same thing like they always do. So I like it. I hope y'all do. But let's get into this. And I already laced them up, so that's why you see the laces right here. And of course, you gotta have a ticket, you know, that it come with, the OG ticket, and the paper on the inside. And I'm kinda mad though, mine's can't rip, but it's just the paper, it's not like I'm wearing the paper, so I got over it, but, bad out. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Ah, just such a beautiful shoe, man. Like I said, like what they did with the colorway, like just, you know, aging it, especially since that's been real popular lately, people dipping their shoes in coffee and all sorts of crazy stuff. I just think the age look does look really good on here. I can't wait to really break these in, you know, and then it, of course, I'm sure y'all already seen this a thousand times with the detail, but just with the cracking, and just like they did on the soles too with the actionist, man, it's just real perfect, you know, and I love them. I already had some, um, some bread toe ones, but you know, they're getting kind of beat. So that's why I'm glad I copped these and I'm definitely going to wear the heck out of these. Probably going to run them into the ground just like I am my Converse. I just think it's a real good shoe, good quality. I don't think it's actually going to like age and go bad. Even on the details on like the toe box. I'm not sure my camera going to pick it up. But it's like crackling on the toe box too, like in the whites uh, of the paint. Uh, again, going with that age look, I think Nike really killed it uh, when they dropped this shoe, man. They, they know what they were doing. It sucks for all the people that got their pairs that have mold in it. <laughs> Um, I don't know what y'all had to do, you know, or the, the pairs that got canceled. But yeah, man, if you haven't copped this already, it's real good quality. Go ahead and just, just do it, man. I think it's just a really great shoe all around. All the colorways, I don't really think there's too many bad colorways besides like mids and, you know, stuff like that. I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of these. I have, like I said, I haven't worn them yet, but that will change very soon. And yeah, man, I'm probably not going to cop no more shoes for the next couple months. Uh, I think I'm good. My girlfriend says I'm getting addicted <laughs> and I gotta stop. So, uh, but yeah, man, I think these are a good shoe. Go ahead and pick them up if you haven't already. Just just get it out the way because if you wait too long, the prices might go up and then you might regret not getting them sooner. I'm gonna go ahead and hold these. I don't think I'm ever gonna sell them for any reason. Again, shout out to Nike, man. They knew what they were doing when it came to this pair and I'm glad I went ahead and did it. So go do it if you haven't already. And that wraps it up for this video, y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all got some inspiration from my recent pickups and Christmas gifts. I enjoyed everything that I got. I'm very appreciative for everybody that did give me gifts. And I hope y'all, the people I got gifts for like theirs. But all in all, man, y'all just keep staying tuned for the videos. I do appreciate y'all that are tuning in. And I thank you for the ones that stick to the end of the videos. If you haven't watched my last vlog, go ahead and check that out. Like I said, I went to Disney with my girl. It was a short vlog. I didn't get a lot of footage, but uh, we definitely enjoyed Disney. So I can't wait to go out there again at some point. But if y'all do enjoy the vlogs, go ahead and just drop a comment. Let me know so I can know what kind of videos to keep pushing out. I'm going to try my best to keep uploading every week, no matter what it is. Um, but if y'all do enjoy the vlogs, I may just try to do some simple daily vlogs if I'm just hanging out or doing stuff my girl whatnot but yeah man again uh the jordan one lost and founds i definitely think it's a sneaker of the year for 2022 man definitely hands down it's a must cop it's definitely worth it i do appreciate y'all man uh i keep saying that uh if you stay to the end of the video drop a comment like the video share subscribe send it to your friends send it to your mamas your aunties your uncles your dads everyone man to share the video <laughs> hit that post notifications button at the top so you can know when i upload and i'll be back with more videos soon man y'all stay safe have a happy new year peace Thank you.